how varied are the research activity, the clinical research activity here on campus? It is very varied. In general, there are four classes of, of research that's ongoing here. <laughs> the first class is uh, new medical devices. Second one is new therapeutics, for example, new drugs. Uh, these are often referred to as small molecules. The third class is what's called foods, yeah, so functional foods and nutraceuticals with the uh, presence of the Canadian Center for Agri-Food Health and Medicine here. And the fourth class is actually drug device combinations. So I just want to give you an example of each of those four categories. So when you talk about medical devices, you're talking about uh, a pacemaker or, or, or a particular instrument that's used in the OR to expand a chest or, or to compress or a cardiac pump that keeps in the bypass pump, keep things oxygenated or an oxygenator, um, or a new stent, for example. When you talk about new drugs, I think most people know what those are. They're everything from uh, an anti-clotting agent to an anti-inflammatory to uh, anti -analg an analgesic, which uh, eliminates pain. Uh, um, and you know, there's more than 3,000 drugs that are approved for human use. Uh, yeah. And then when you talk about foods and nutraceuticals, you, you heard recently about the ongoing efforts here on fiber, for, as an example, or, or saturated fats or uh, essential fatty acids. So those are the broad categories. Within each of those, there are what's called disciplines for pathophysiology. So whether you're looking for cardiac application or uh, healing or recovery time from the OR or people on renal dialysis. Those are the disciplines for which you would look at one of those applications.